Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, welcome to another video and uh, now we will start writing the different applications weather app, Netflix clone app uh, or dashboard app, blog app, all these kind of application we will start writing because after understanding the basic things, the actual practice we will be able to do when we are actually writing the applications. Okay. Before starting, I will just do a small correction from my previous video. I was creating the, I was passing the history wrong. So you have to get the create browser history from the history APIs. And then you can call this create browser history API and then pass the history to the router. Okay. Small correction. Uh, earlier I was just passing create browser history directly. You just need to call this method and then, then pass it. Okay. Now in the coming video, we are going to talk about this uh, weather app. So what this weather app will do is it will actually take your location either city name or country name based on that we were, we are actually going to make an api call that api call will result as some data and that data we have to show so we can customize it it can be as simple as some text field some dashboard and we are just getting some data about the humidity pressure and uh, the temperature and is it raining or is it like uh, sunny weather all these kind of parameters we are going to get from open weather api this is you just need API keys and secret. We don't have a backend. So after passing that we will be getting some data on our component and then we will be just showing it on the UI. Okay, so it is going to be as simple as we can create a routing if we want. Like here we have the home page and then we can rest. We can create a simple weather page. So what that weather page will be doing is here we can have a weather component. Inside that weather component, we will be writing just a simple UI, a text field maybe. I will just show you just a small highlights. Consider that I have created this weather component here. Weather.js and here I will just create this weather component. Okay. Now what we need to think about this is we are going to make an external API call. Right. So where we can do, we can write all these different lifecycle methods, component did mount here. We can make an API call, but before that we have to have that uh, text field with us inside text field. You will be entering the country name, state name or city name or zip code or your uh, any particular identifier, which that API is supporting. So here we will be entering the text field from the render component did mount will do nothing but here it will be just getting the city name and state name here it is going to make x0 cpi call okay based on that we will get the data we will actually update the state for the component so that we can show the information it can be a, a child component also you render the child component and you emit an event like i will just show this demo example for you here we can have, we just need to do it export, export class instead of default export. So export class weather. Okay. Here we can have simple form inside that form. You are going to actually render input text fields, input type text and value is so in this value you can just see this dot uh, capture city or whatever method you are going to write value is can come from the state this dot state dot uh, city Okay, this capture city we are calling. So here we can have some local state. Initially it is empty. Now this capture city what it is doing is in this capture city we can just write our code. We are getting the data in the event object. So what we can do this dot set state. And we can just say 
city is getting new value which is e dot target dot value and we have actually bind it with the arrow function so you don't need to explicitly bind it with this object okay now there is a there will there can be one button also when you click on to that button we will actually start making a call so on click on to it uh, here we can actually call this method this dot handle click this dot handle click will do nothing but we'll call a parent class method so here we can just call props this dot props dot submit city or whatever you are typing and here you can pass that this dot state dot city okay so here we are just passing this city information to our parent component here we just have a submit method okay you need to create a fragment to wrap it around okay submit city and handle click method so submit city is something we have to render here so this is our parent component it is doing lot of things it is rendering the child component first which is you can see the weather Okay, on submit city we are actually calling the local method of this component here we might be getting data from this so we can actually capture the data and then call this method like we are getting some name city name submit city we can get the submit city and we are getting the name so we can actually call something which we are actually calling in componented mount so initially by default I wanted to show the weather and temperature of my current location so here we can actually do get current location and make an API call and this we can define okay this dot get weather of uh, my city name I got my city name from the geolocation APIs and I have defined get weather method I got the city similarly this get weather I can call from here also so either you can use a sync await or simple promise would be fine so get weather we are calling which is a common method and here we will making the Xeos API call so xgeos.get some open weather API URL there we will be just appending like localhost 3000 API v1 city and in the city name we are passing whatever we have captured So we are passing city and now we can handle this promise what it is going to return if we got data then we have to just have a local state in this component and we will just setting the data so here you can see this dot set state uh, data equal to response dot data we just need to change it to response in this data we will get okay here we can also have a state for this component uh, state equal to data which is initially is an empty array okay and now you got the data inside a state so you can render it so here we can have another child component which will render this data okay like uh, weather data and you pass this data in the as a props this dot state dot uh, data so writing a react components are pretty much straightforward and easy okay now we can see in the next video we will see how actually we are implementing it this can be weather data which where you can get this data from open weather apis and can visualize it in the more proper way where you are extracting each and every attribute from the uh, apis and just setting it in some good ui initially this is the weather city here also you can actually customize this ui 
you can have a nice text trail nice background you just pass the ct name whatever you are passing and then visualize it okay thanks everyone